Hello, it's me. The new patches have arrived for a few days. There are quite a lot of changes, and there will be new strategies. But there are old strategies that still work, and I haven't covered those yet. And this one is particularly easy to execute. However, however, you might need a bit of luck to find the key. At the end, I will tell you a trick to find the key by yourself. That makes the whole experience better if you really want to try it immediately. First, you choose this guy. Science hurts. And make sure to pick this one that gives you this little squad. Then you try to survive. The key to this part is really simple. Try not to die until round eight, because at round eight you got to pick your intermediate artifact, which is the most important part. You can choose to level up or buy cards before round eight. It doesn't matter that much. Just try not to die. Once you reach round eight, you need to pick chronometry. If it doesn't show up, you should quit. It will leave you only thirty seconds per round, but it will give you four powerful options, and this strategy only requires one. That is the one that fills your hand with level six cards. It's perfect for vessel because level six cards have lots of heroes, and so happens you can copy those hero units. Into one car with full upgrades, they pack quite a punch. Try to have an empty hand at the end of each round. With the time limits, try your best to buy and sell as much car as possible. You can make this combo stronger with General Warfield, BCs, a Shadow Legion. And in general, just any car work with buying and selling. Finally, the last artifact. It can be anything really. If you don't have shade, you can take the shade for all. Otherwise, the tactical equipments for the upgrades, or you can golden all of your cards. For each round, all you have to do is to hit the one that fills your hand with level six cards, enter and sell them. Your vessel cards will collect the highest. Value unit in the car, which will be your hero unit, and you will have 16 minerals to work with. You can level up and buy more cars to sell. The difficult part is managing the time. But before you make the choice out of those four powerful effects, the 30 second timers won't kick in, so you can look at the shop and plan your action slightly. So I'm fast forward a bit with this game, and then show you how to pick a hero you want and reduce a bit of that randomness. So you can try this quickly. Oh, nice! They added a scoreboard. Hmm. Okay, so if you want to try it by yourself, 
Here's a way you can reduce randomness. So you load it into this hero selection phase. You can type ALL all. And this will give you all of the heroes. I'm pretty sure it doesn't work in multiplayer. And then you can choose the science vessel. And if you doesn't get a chronometry, you can just do this again. Alright, thanks for watching. Good luck and have fun in the tavern.